Hey guys, how are we doing? We are back playing some more Rage Shadow Legends. How are we going, guys? Alrighty, so we're going to get right into it. I'm not going to waste too much time. Let's get back into the campaign. We're up to the Durham Forest, which is the fourth one out of this campaign. Yes, we are on the basic campaign, so look, I figured we'd just go through the mini campaign as well. So pretty much going to be about 12 episodes of this in total. Um, hopefully you guys do enjoy this. Um, I, like I said in my other videos, I haven't seen too many um, videos, or if not any, about the campaign itself. So I figured, you know what, let me do it. If you guys enjoy, fantastic. If you guys don't, um, one way or another, please let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about, you know, running through the campaign. And if it's something of um, interest to you guys, um, yeah, I'll be more interested to hear that. And I will see how we go with the auto mode for now. Um, but guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future raid videos um, that I upload on the channel. And do also check out on some of the other games I do play on the channel. I have been mainly focusing on survival style games. If you guys are into that, then you've come to the right place. Um, and definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, in the playlists that are featured on my channel there. If not, totally fine. I'm not gonna hold you guys to that, of course. But um, yeah, if you guys wanna take a bit of a look, go ahead. Anyway, with that one out of the way, guys, we are pretty much done on the first round on the fourth level. So far, so good, pretty easy. Uh, I'm not too overly worried about this at the moment. Sort of gonna get concerned a little bit further down as we get into the um, uh, higher levels of this chapter as I like to call them so yeah nice and easy and as you can see my uh, uncommon guys are near close to their maximum value before I have to think about investing into these guys to high levels or do I um, you know go down a pathway and implement my epic um, champion that I've recently got before. Um, you may have seen that in my previous videos if you guys have been keeping tabs on my videos. I do have, um, I believe, three, maybe four rare shards that will guarantee me at least a rare by default, or if not better, hopefully, with that being said. And I might have to go into a whole grinding aspect to get those players up and increase their, um, their levels as they go up to level 30, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are well aware of so hopefully um, you know that might be something I might need to look at further down the road but yeah as I said I'm not too sure where I want to sort of go with that at the moment I've tried not to invest too much into my players early on in the game because like I said I'm not too particularly sure how it's all going to go down um, you know as I'm sort of progressing in the game I'm still learning at the same time so I mean naturally you know, you guys are going to get better uh, champions as you sort of continue on in the game. And, you know, you don't want to sort of go um, all out and upgrade your first play, uh, first champions that you do get. Um, you know, much rather that you sort of want to try and hold out for as long as you can until you get certain, um, you know, champions that you really want to invest your time and efforts into. And I guess that's when you have a whole grinding element and, you know, this auto feature comes into play where you guys have to sort of, you know, um, if you don't want to sort of draw your whole full attention to it, you just sort of want to farm your players and make sure that they level up and then, you know, invest in the right type of armor, equipment, the rings, all that sort of stuff will sort of come into it. And then, you know, eventually when you hit max level, do you want to start ascending these um, champions to the next level? All these sort of things will sort of come into play, you know, further down the line. but. For now, what I'm sort of trying to aim and hit at is I'm just going to try and do uh, the campaign for as much as I can for as long as I can with the players that I have and that and I do pick up from time to time. And then when that sort of becomes apparent where I've hit that wall and I can't get any further, I think that's probably where I'm going to sort of look at you know upgrading uh, my higher rank players and um, you know possibly go through the uh, you know uh, the max level ascensions and things like that i think that's probably a good play to sort of look at as an option as an alternative um, but we'll see how we go um, you know it's just one of those things i guess 
you know, you sort of want to hit full throttle, you know, from the get-go, but, you know, will it come back to bite you? And then you either have to, you know, backtrack and, um, you know, uh, re-grind your players and, you know, get stronger ones. Or, you know, if you guys are predominantly a free-to-play player like myself, do you start investing, you know, money-wise into the game? And, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, I'll never say never invest in a game if you don't wish to do so that's under your own choosing but especially if you want to support the developer um, then obviously you guys go right ahead but if you guys are willing enough to invest in the game yourselves do that under your own free will I mean I'm not going to say you should or you shouldn't but that's always your choice but anyway yeah if you guys are a free-to-play player like myself then you know it's the grinding will come in and it's going to take a little bit longer for you guys to, you know, um, uh, carry out the game and, you know, whether it will not, um, you know, defeat your motivation, I'm not too sure. It, it all depends on you guys, yourselves, and how you guys sort of conduct, conduct yourself on the game itself. And I've actually lost my first champion, something I haven't seen in a long time. So we are definitely getting up in the... Um, uh, in the harder levels so what are we now we are on stage five out of let's just back out real quickly all right so we're on the third last stage so we are actually getting there we'll see how we go on the auto mode if you know I'll make it through I've got a funny feeling that I might hit the wall right at the end and I might have to go through a manual override and see if I can um, take him out you know using my own uh, thoughts instead of letting the game do its own thing but we'll see how we go with that hopefully I can breeze through these guys without any problems um, but yeah so far these guys look pretty tough I mean we're only onto the second round here and let's see what, what happens you know it's always well and good when you see your own players also your own champions hit uh, your enemies here through the auto mode but as soon as you know the tides turn <laughs> you do get a little bit on the nervy side and thinking okay what's going to happen here will I survive or will I you know get defeated but so far it looks to be that I should hopefully get through this and then the nerve round will go to you know uh, the second last stage and then obviously the last stage uh, respectively but these guys are level 8 so I don't know how this is going to go you know the first two rounds these guys were like a level 17 level 18 so I'm not too sure what to make of that uh, comment down below guys let me know you know when you go through the first couple of levels these guys can actually hit pretty hard so um, you know they appear to be lower level ranked so I'm not too sure what the go is with that or do they just have um, uh, better tune mechanics in terms of, you know, um, uh, attack and, def and defense wise and things like that? Um, again, let me know in the comments. I mean, is that something that really sort of takes a massive uh, considerable factor into where, you know, you are basically um, on a lower rank level, but the these guys are tuned to perfection in a sense and you know relevancy to that goes sort of out of the window where you sort of you know have lower ranked players but um uh, higher attack and defense i don't know comment down below let me know what that's all about but anyway we are basically pretty much nearly at the halfway point now moving into this part here so round two of the second last stage and hopefully we can breeze through this as well and we can mosey right onto the last stage. And to be perfectly honest, I think we're doing okay in terms of timeage as well, so not bad at all. I mean, let me know in the comments, do you guys do any sort of speed runs? Is that something that you guys are possibly interested in, I guess, in future videos? I mean, you know, do you guys use overpowered players in lower ranked battles or, you know, whether it be campaign? Through the dungeon or anything like that you know do you guys sort of test yourselves 
uh, let me know has anyone done a speed run before I'd be interested to see if you guys can link me into that that'd be fantastic um, I just want to see how you know how fast some of these champions can go and depending on how you guys have geared up your your champions in particular will that sort of um, you know have a play on things um, I'll be interested to know all right so we're three versus two hopefully we can get these guys down a little bit further before I'm completely out of luck um, okay hopefully okay so 3v1 I think I'd be confident to say that we should be okay um, yeah let's hope so there we go there we go all right perfect so I'm gonna suspect that I may be on a hard one here guys so we'll see how we go we'll see how we go automatically I might have to intervene and go through manual but we'll see we'll see how bad this will be for me okay so boom and boom and okay well at least I didn't get attacked at all whatsoever in the first round so I guess that's good but Again, this could be brutal between now and to the, and to the last round. And I'm sure you guys have already played through this, you've probably seen this, um, that have you know, been in the game for a little while now, so I'm sure you know what, what to expect and what is going to come after this. But so far, I think we are doing okay. Okay, so 2v4, which is a good thing. All right, good, good, good. Okay, let's just take this guy down. Okay, we're doing okay with this. At least if I can get okay health and everyone into the last round. All right, here we go. Let's see how this, how this happens. All right. Yeah, I can see over time this guy's gonna be a real pain for me. Okay, and we are doing okay, I guess. Okay, and like, well, he is pretty high on the poison factor as well, so that's always going to be a bad thing. That's also going to reduce my um, my attack ability against all these guys, and I'm about to lose one of my champions, unfortunately. Yep. Okay. So we'll see how we go on this. Because I don't think I'm going to last too much longer, unfortunately. I think so far, I mean, for a first run at it, I think I did okay. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Alright, so no good on that one there, guys. Um, Look, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it even with my guys as they are. I mean, we're going to replay that. And I'm going to auto these first two rounds. And hopefully we can get through this pretty quickly without any fuss. And then I'll manually override the third challenge or the third round, I should say. And if all goes well, um, I might escape <laughs> with victory. But we'll see. If not, we'll probably call it a video and I might have to do some grinding to uh, get my players up to scratch. But we'll see how we do. So these guys are heavy on the defense right now. And I think, yeah, okay, so. Let's see if we can just bring these guys down. I mean, so far, ugh, getting halfway on my health on each player, so not a good thing. Okay, so this is probably not going to be as good as what the first round was, so yeah. Alright. If you can take them out, very good. Okay, so I've switched off auto for now. Alright, so let's us. Uh, 
wanted to see how that worked out first. And okay. Definitely try my best with anything and everything here. Okay. Right, so what I'm going to do is I might just invest into here. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure you guys would probably know by now, <laughs> judging from my play and yeah, I don't think I'm going to make this unfortunately, but that's fine. At least we gave it a crack and, you know, a couple of goes at it just to make sure if I can survive or uh, bring this, uh, this dragon down, but unfortunately he's just ripped me apart. So yeah, this is not going to happen unfortunately. And I mean, this is, yeah, not as fruitful as I'd like it to be. Anyway, got completely smashed. Is what it is, but we're gonna go ahead and leave it here for today. I'm not gonna keep aimlessly grinding this out, but considering I went auto mode with pretty much everything here and not seeing this and only seeing it for the first time in auto stage, I think I did pretty well with that. It's just stage seven really got to me, I guess, at the end of the day. But let me know what you think about it down in the comments down below. Any tips or anything like that with regards to what you've just seen today? Um, be very appreciative if you guys can drop some comments, any sort of hints or anything like that. Um, otherwise, yeah, thanks for watching guys and I will catch you another time.